This is my preliminary winter forecast for the winter of 2025 to 2026. We will start by discussing two of the major factors playing into this winter season. The first major factor is the development of a La Nina, specifically a week one, going into winter. A La Nina occurs when the waters in the central and east-central equatorial Pacific cool below average. It typically influences winter patterns by creating a blocking high pressure over the North Pacific, resulting in warmer and drier conditions in the southern United States and colder and wetter conditions in the northern United States. Indications of a La Nina are rising based on the July ocean temperature anomalies, and the official forecast as of now calls for a 50% chance of a La Nina especially in the first half of winter. Should this play out, a weak La Nina would have significant impacts on our winter forecasts and predictions. The second major factor is the appearance of the polar vortex over the northern hemisphere. This is likely to be a major factor once again this year, as La Nina patterns typically bring alongside significant polar vortex appearance and Arctic blasts as a result, and we have the evidence from temperature anomalies of every single La Nina event to conclude this. The polar vortex has a stable phase and an unstable phase. When in a stable phase, cold air is contained in the Arctic Circle and poses no Arctic outbreak threats to the United States. The problems arise when the polar vortex enters an unstable phase, which weakens the jet stream and allows cold air to move southward, allowing waves of this Arctic air to push into the continental United States, resulting in major, and often dangerous, outbreaks of significant cold air. This could be very prevalent this year if the forecast stands. Now that we have gone over the important major factors shaping the forecast, it is time to get into your temperature, precipitation, and overall forecast maps for this winter season. Starting off with the temperature map, this first zone is where slightly warmer than average temperatures are expected. This zone stretches across the southwest, deep south, and southeast regions. This is a typical result out of a La Nina pattern which causes warmer and drier conditions in the southern part of the country. This next zone is where noticeably warmer than average temperatures are expected. This zone covers the southwest, where La Nina will result in a much warmer winter than what is usually seen, leading to decreased mountain snowfall as well. Moving away from warmth, this zone is where slightly colder than average temperatures are expected. This zone covers much of the high plains, north central, and northeast regions. The polar vortex will play a major role in delivering Arctic blasts to these regions. This next zone is where noticeably colder than average temperatures are expected. This zone covers the same areas, but is cut off more to the north. This is where the Arctic blasts will be more noticeable and more intense. This final zone is where significantly colder than average temperatures are expected. This zone covers the northern half of the north central region and is where the polar vortex will be most prevalent delivering significant and dangerous Arctic air outbreaks. Moving on to the precipitation map, this first zone is where slightly drier than average conditions are expected. This zone covers the southwest and deep southeast regions. La Nina is once again the cause for this forecast, as it generally bring warmer and drier conditions to the south, as previously mentioned. This next zone is where noticeably drier than average conditions are expected, this zone covers a small area of the southwest, and this has been a common pattern over the last few years. It comes as no surprise that La Nina will result in this once again. Moving on from the dryness, this zone is where slightly wetter than average conditions are expected. This zone covers the northwest, north central, central, Ohio Valley, and northeast regions. This year is expected to be a significant year precipitation-wise for much of the country and it is rare to see this much of the country under above average precipitation. This next zone is where noticeably wetter than average conditions are expected. This zone covers parts of the North Central and Ohio Valley regions. This is where an active storm track will result in significant precipitation events, some likely in the form of big snowstorms. Now it is time to go into our final map, the thing most of you all probably came here for the overall forecast map. Starting off on the west coast, the gray section is where mountain snow is expected. Snow will not as commonly reach the low elevations, although precipitation will be above average and temperatures around average as well. 
Mountain snow will likely be above average. However, ski resorts around this area may very well have a successful season ahead. The tan section is where dry stretches are expected. Notable rain and snow events will still occur, but extended periods of dry weather will overall dominate the season. Strong storm systems cannot be ruled out, however, so stay on watch for that. The orange section is where warm and dry conditions are expected. This comes as no surprise to many in the southwest, as this has been a trend over the past few years. Extended drought will likely be a major issue once again. The black section is where average conditions are expected. This area is in the perfect spot where colliding air masses will tend to balance out the temperatures and precipitation, leading to an average and pleasant winter season. The yellow section is where mild conditions are expected. Warmer temperatures and overall drier conditions will likely make for a mild but pleasant experience this season. Unfortunately for snow lovers, your chances of snow are very, very low this year. You guys are not so lucky this time unlike last year. The thin green section is where seasonably stormy conditions are expected. There is no better way to describe it, as this zone is almost the same as the previous one, but won't be as dry. The pink section is where the battle zone is expected. This is where cold air and an active storm track will bring all precipitation type. Rain, snow, sleet, and freezing rain will all be on the table, and that there will be many storms which will be an absolute mess. This area should be prepared for dangerous conditions at times. The light blue section is where cold and snowy conditions are expected. The combination of cold air blasts and an active storm track will result in a lot of snow events, with significant snowstorms and possibly blizzards in play as well. Jumping to the northeast, the blue section is where snowstorms are expected. Not every event will be a snowstorm, of course, but a few potentially significant snowstorms are likely based on the area standards. The dark blue section is where big snows are expected. This area is similar to the previous one, but is far enough north that conditions are more primed for consistent snowstorms and potential nor'easters as well. It may be a very successful snow season for the ski resorts in the northeast this year. The purple section is where the polar vortex is expected. This area will receive the heart of the Arctic air, with frequent blasts of significant and dangerous cold. People here should be prepared for a very cold winter ahead and should be aware of the potential dangers that it holds. Lastly, the red section is where the worst of winter is expected. The combination of strong Arctic blasts and an active storm track will result in severe winter conditions with major disruptive storms in the forecast. The areas along the Great Lakes are also included because of the enhanced threat for lake effect snow, which will likely be significant this year. Strong gusty winds from the backsides of these storm systems will also be common. This area should prepare for significant and disruptive storms and an unpleasant season ahead. That will wrap up this forecast. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Get ready for winter and stay safe.